Allah loves you and Allah wants to hear your voice according to Rasulullah 100 times a day minimum Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam he's advising the ummah to make tawbah towards Allah and this is a quality that is dead or if it's not dead it's very little and really if you look at your life ask yourself just how much do I repent towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in the authentic hadith, he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stretches his hand during the day so that the sinners of the night can repent. And then Allah the Almighty stretches his hand during the night so that the sinners of the day can repent. And Allah will continue to stretch his hand during the day and the night till the sun rises from the west, meaning the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my brothers, the king, the master, the creator. You know, it's, it's an amazing thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need anyone. Allah doesn't need anyone. Don't ever think, brother, in your life that your charity or your salah or your little tasbih or your little... This does not increase Allah's greatness. This does not make Allah better in any way, shape or form. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Hadith Al-Qudsi, He says, Ya Ibadi, Allah is calling you. He says, Oh my slaves, not the Muslims, anyone and everyone. Oh my slaves, Ya Ibadi, if the first of you till the last of you, meaning from the first human being to the last human being, if all of you, human engine, if you were all together collectively and worship me and worship me and worship me and worship me until you all come like the best heart amongst you, this does not increase my greatness. It does not increase Allah's greatness. In fact, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yani just, just to paint the picture that Allah doesn't need our worship. Allah doesn't need our worship. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sitting with his sahaba. He says to them, you know, I see what you don't see. And I hear what you don't hear. He says to them, verily the heavens have squeaked. The heavens, the sky, the heavens have squeaked. You know, when you put a lot of weight on something, it makes that squeaking sound. There's a lot of weight, there's a lot of pressure on it. He says, the heavens have squeaked. He says, for by Allah, there isn't room for four fingers, except there is an angel in prostration towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Does Allah need me? Does Allah need the $10 I'm going to put in the box when I walk out? Yet this Allah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in the authentic hadith, that Allah is happier. Allah is so happy when you, my brother, when you, my sister, when you make tawbah towards Allah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in the authentic hadith, imagine, look at the example he gives sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, imagine there's someone in the desert and he's riding on his camel and he has all of his provisions on the camel. And then the man takes some rest. And then all of a sudden he loses his camel. What hardship would this man be going through? Everything, my food, my water, my transportation is on the camel. And I lose the camel. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the authentic hadith, then imagine this man was to take some rest. Then all of a sudden he was to see his camel again. How happy would you become? How happy would you be? He says, Allah is happier than this man. When you make tawbah to him, 